sourdough french toast bread let me show you how this is an awesome bread that i make in the bread machine this is just like an english muffin bread look in the see more below this video you can get this recipe and also the recipe once you make the batter up to make the french toast bread. hello my name is jersey and welcome to my channel let's jump right in you need 170 grams filtered water about 95 degrees 13 grams of sugar 4 grams of yeast and let proof 10 minutes even though the bread machine does not call for you to do this this is something that i do all the time as a given after 10 minutes add all your liquids to the bottom which will include your proof yeast and 114 grams of sourdough starter optional is vanilla extract look up there i'll leave the link how i make mine with moonshine i also add it to the batter once i begin to make the french toast again this is optional now the liquids are all done we will add 340 grams of all-purpose organic flour and four grams of salt lock the pan in the bread machine hit option number nine which is the dough setting and in about an hour and a half it will be ready after the cycle is completed lightly flour your work area and your fingers the dough is still kind of wet and sticky but that's okay I find it very helpful to have a silicone spatula at this point to remove all the dough on the work table. I find that a bench scraper is your best friend when making this sticky dough. Knead and scrape, add a little flour just so it's manageable that you can get it into the pan all in one piece. It's going to take two to three minutes to do this. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are lightly spray your pan my pan is about four and a half by 13 inches i have pieces of silicone that i cut from my dehydrator i like to add them to the bottom this way it really ensures that it doesn't stick which i never have a problem but i really like using silicone whenever i can just scoop it up and plop it into the pan this is not like a pizza dough or cinnamon roll dough it is more sticky than those spritz the top of the dough with filtered water and then sift flour on top of that. Bake in a 425 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until the internal temperature is 190 degrees. Let rest 10 minutes, then remove it from the pan. And if you use silicone strip, take those off now. You may think that it's a very heavy loaf. Actually, it is not. It is kind of light and airy with all the nooks and crannies like English muffin is. Let the bread cool completely and then slice it into thin slices. My husband always grabs a slice or two, slathers it with butter and eats it. He said it's just like eating an English muffin. I like to let this sit a whole day before I actually make my French toast. I wrap it up in a cotton or muslin towel and put it in a bag. I like to use the heels if my husband doesn't eat them and I use them for breadcrumbs. Make sure you check out below this video. I will leave a link to the blog where you can print the recipe on how to make the actual French toast. I always grate my nutmeg first because if I don't, it will fall into the egg milk mixture and it will practically be ruined because it will be contaminated. Since I'm making the whole loaf right now, I'm going to add two eggs, enough milk, could be buttermilk, fresh milk, sour milk, yogurt and water to the mix with some vanilla extract, cinnamon, and whisk it really well. Besides the blog, I actually made another video. I'll leave the link up there that you can watch my tips and tricks on how to make French toast on a griddle. Also how I make French toast sticks and I reheat in an air fryer. Now this is only my opinion and how I do it, but it's like a hamburger or a steak. I only flip it once. You'll know it's ready to turn when you push on it and it slides and it doesn't stick. I like to place them to cool on a cooling rack. This prevents them from getting soggy, the same as I do a waffle or pancakes. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder.
Check out the video in my Food From Scratch playlist and I can show you how to make cowboy coffee in the fireplace. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? There is nothing like homemade butter. Yes, I have a video on that too. Slathered on, I don't hold back on this. If you like the taste of bourbon and syrup, the two mixed together is so good. I love my juice even before coffee in the morning, so I usually mix half and half of an organic blueberry and an unfiltered apple juice. Ray decided to sleep in, no shocker there, so I'm going to heat his up on a cast iron plate. As you see, Ray likes a little French toast with his syrup. I've never had any luck using store-bought bread, which I don't buy anymore anyway, but it was always soggy. This type of bread guarantees a very nice French toast. And I wove these checkerboard towels a long time ago. I use them as a backup or if we have company as dinner napkins. I like to wash and dry and save my eggshells. I use them for so many things. I have a full blog tutorial on that. I'll leave the link below. Those eggshells are very valuable. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. To clean anything that had milk in it, I use our veggie soap, some very hot water, baking soda, citric acid, and it really cleans all that thick, gunky milk out all by itself. That nice foaming action really aerates the water and it helps clean the dried on milk. I love making the whole loaf because during the week, we can pop them in a toaster oven and eat them. Storing leftover sourdough French bread is easy. I put them in a airtight container and I put a dry cotton muslin towel on top and it absorbs all the moisture and it makes it so the bread doesn't become soggy. I do this with my waffles and pancakes that I make during the week also. If you like this video, please right now hit the thumbs up. I would love if you could drop a comment below. Hit the subscribe button, the all bell notification, and you will be notified each week when I upload a new video. And this is Jersey saying, have an awesome day until we meet again.